Adam Wheater scored a brilliant 100 and debutant Nathan Rimmington a fine undefeated 50 as Hampshire fought back superbly on the second day of their LV County Championship match with Essex in Colchester. After the first day of this game had been lost to the weather, Jimmy Adams batted after winning the toss but lost his own wicket at the start of the eighth over with an edge to Tom Wesley off Jesse Ryder. Michael Carberry produced the longest duck of this season of 32 balls. With a total on 14 in the ninth over, he was adjudged to have nicked Graham Napier behind. Ryder was surprisingly given the new ball and he did a good job with it too, bagging the wicket of James Vince who certainly nicked this ball to James Foster. In the next over, the 13th of the morning, the returning Liam Dawson drove Napier to Ryan Tender's car to, to go for a couple. And when Sajid Mahmood, making his first appearance in the championship this year, found some extra bounce with his third delivery to have Will Smith caught by Wesley in the slips, Hampshire were left on 32 for 5. It was really tough going for the visiting batsman, although Wheater excelled against his former county. He worked hard initially to get himself in and then made the most of his hard work with some excellent cricket shots as Hampshire, a side which has seen its position in the top two of the table, threatened in the last two or three weeks, finally began to put some runs on the board that were much needed too. Sean Irvin played a part two as he helped add 51 runs for the sixth wicket with Wheata. But with the score on 83, the Zimbabwean chipped Tim Phillips to Greg Smith in the deep to go for 20. Foster showed some wonderful captaincy touches, Wesley was the eighth bowler to be used in the morning session and he struck in his second over. Matt Coles getting a leading edge off him to offer Monty Panesar a good running catch. So in the 30th over, Hampshire went to lunch in trouble on 97 for 7, but they fought back admirably in the afternoon in spite of Foster employing all 10 outfielders to bowl, something that is, of course, very rare. Wheater was in magnificent touch. He got to a 50 from 70 balls and then marched on towards 100. Rimmington, a 31-year-old from Queensland, was brought into the county to replace Kyle Abbott and he made an immediate impression in the championship game by providing a crucial innings for his team. He's considered as a bowler but played as if he deserves all-rounder status. He was still there when Wheater completed his first ton of the season one which was made off 134 balls with a delicious straight drive off Ryder, taking him to three figures with his 11th four. It was the innings which had completely changed the complexion of this match. He was out for 107 after adding 115 runs with Remington, who made 65 not out on debut. His 50 came off 113 balls, that being his seventh four. Danny Briggs was out for three before Panasar wrapped up the innings by having James Tomlinson held at short leg by Nick Brown. In the end, Hampshire would have been pleased to have got as far as 246 and they then removed Brown, a man who broke records by hitting back-to-back -back undefeated hundreds in Chesterfield last week. Here he'd made only four when he was taken in the gully by Vince off Coles. As the pitch dried out after the rains of the previous day, Batting had become a lot easier after that tough morning session and Wesley, who scored a brilliant T20 Blast 100 at the weekend, continued his excellent form with some fine shots as Adams also moved his bowlers around. Overall, 16 different players turned their arms over in one day. None of these six used by Hampshire could upset Wesley's rhythm though. Remington proved to be less of a threat with the ball in his hands rather than a bat and that allowed Ravi Bapara to get his innings moving in the right direction. In spite of the Wheater-inspired fight back from the visitors, these two batsmen ensured that it was still Essex's day in the end. They carried the total to 70 for one from 27 overs before stumps were drawn, Wesley making 35 and Bapara 24, and that means that Essex will start the third day 176 runs behind with nine of their wickets still intact.